we just got a special delivery from Spirit Halloween and I cannot be more excited to get the 2022 Spirit Halloween and Halloween season started. So today we are going to be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing Lord Raven from the Spirit Halloween's 2022 season. I knew you would be here soon. You could say I have eyes all over. <laughs> Remember, wherever you run, my crows and I will find you. So here we have Lord Raven. He is six feet tall. This guy is awesome. The box is pretty big. I'm just really excited to get into this. I love the red glowing eyes. I love the demos I've been seeing of him. I cannot wait to get into this thing. So without further ado, let's start unboxing Lord Raven and build him, turn him on, and give a review. First things first, at the top of the box, we got the directions. We're definitely going to need those. We have the empty box with an adapter, so I can imagine down here is his adapter set that off to the side inside here we have his head with an arm sticking out so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish pulling everything out and then I'm going to lay it all out on the floor and show you everything all right here we have everything unboxed and laid out here on the floor starting from the right hand side we got the poles we got a hip hoop we got Raven's head, we have arms, hands, his cloak, the whole main mechanism, and the base. So we're going to get started in setting this up. The first piece is your base. You're going to want the long end facing out towards you. So all the poles are A to B. The poles are B, the base is A. And my little helper here is snapping. They are just the quick push buttons. They snap in. These next ones just goes B to B. Watch your fingers. Just like that. It's all set up. This is the bottom half. Look, it's as tall as you. Yes. And then we have part C, which is the lower torso frame. Again, it has the snap buttons, snap those in. And this is basically the main frame of Lord Raven. Next, you're going to have part D, which is the entire main mechanism. And again, it's just going to snap right on in place. Just like that. Here's your sensor make sure everything's clear now this thing is pretty tall okay now that this is all assembled you're gonna want part K which is the whole cloak or gown or whatever his whole outfit this right here is his hood we will save that let's get this unfolded now you just want to slip this right over top. It is kind of a pain to do because it catches on the top part. Then you're going to want the left arm, which is labeled F. You just slide this up into the sleeve. Slide the arm down and through the two holes. And then you want the right arm, which is labeled part G. You're going to slide that up through the sleeve. And then it also slides up, up here up towards the top. Can't mistake it. Slide that down in. And then you can drape this up and over the arms. Next is part H which will be your left hand and on the left arm you're going to want to pull up the end of the sleeve and then again there's two little eyelets here you slide down in 
And then you can pull this sleeve over top and there's a piece of Velcro on the end of the hand. And on the end of the sleeve, there's also a piece of Velcro. Stick it on there. Then you can finish draping your cheesecloth. Right hand is part eye. Same thing over here. You're gonna search for it. Velcro piece. Then you can drape your cheesecloth however you like. Now over time this will work itself out and it'll kind of smooth out, straighten out, whatnot, get the uh, wrinkles out. Next is part J, which is his head. And again, it's going to slip into the holes up top here. So his head just mounts right here, slides right in. Then is part L, which is the hood. There's Velcro on the sides, and then there's Velcro on three spots of his head. So the center one goes right here in the center of his head. There's a side one over here, goes on the right side, and then there's one over here on the left side. We're gonna put his cords down inside. Now we can pull up the rest of the costume here. There's Velcro at the very top. It's just a bunch of Velcro all the way down the back of them. Uh, we're going to leave some of this open because now we need to reach for some of these cords. Then the sensor mounts up through the front. Inside, I've already went ahead and plugged in the adapter. Plugs in up top. At the very front, you're going to want to plug in your black and your red wires. It's just quick connects. That should be it. Turn them on. Go ahead and finish Velcroing his costume here. Go ahead and plug him in. I can smell the delicious texture on you. It's making me so very hungry. If you value your puny life, run, or my crows and I will strip you of your flesh and leave your bones to rot. so this guy is definitely wicked cool he's got this long beak that opens and closes his mouth moves his head moves in and out and then his arms flap up and down he's got this huge gown that goes out across the floor the long cheesecloth on the top he's got these long talons on his his hands here he's just really cool i love the bone kind of colored and the texture on the face and the red light up eyes i just i think this is really a really cool animatronic now as far as is it worth the price uh, 300 dollars is really really steep for something like this like yes his arms move up and down and his head moves in and out and his mouth moves 
but I really honestly don't think it's worth $300. I was able to use a coupon that was 20% off and free shipping, so I got it for around $287, I think it was, shipped to me. So it's definitely a, a steep price tag for this. Um, all in all, I, it is really, really cool. I do enjoy it. It's definitely going to be a hit at my haunt for sure. Going to be a really big hit. Um, it did not take very long to set up. It's pretty cut and dry, quick and easy. I think the hardest part really was just getting the whole gown over top of it because it started catching on all the mounting points for the arms. So it was kind of a pain. Now, I don't know, it does make some kind of weird noise, uh, but that's the scissor mechanism here in the neck. So, but it has a super, super touchy sensor down here. This sensor is definitely on a, a whole new level compared to older spirit props. This is like a, a metal one. It's really, it's really, really touchy, super sensitive. It's gonna go off every single time somebody walks in front of this thing or anything happens, a, a leaf could blow and this thing's probably gonna pick it up. It's super touchy. Now, like I said, for the price tag, it's really steep. So if you really wanna shell out the coin and get this thing, it's definitely a really awesome looking prop. Definitely looks better in person than it does in the online demos from Spirit Halloween. It is massive. I wish instead of the head coming out and in, like there's another foot and a half. This thing could be easy seven or eight feet tall, easy. They ended up making this thing six feet tall. They definitely should have made his head way taller. Like it sticks way out, like a foot and a half, maybe close to two feet. This thing could have been way up in the air, being eight foot tall. Then that would have made more sense as a $300 price tag. So if you enjoy prop unboxings, yard haunt builds, or just Halloween in general, Make sure to click on the videos popping up at the top of your screen for some more awesome Halloween content. Until next time, I will catch you on that next video. Thanks for watching.